Good morning. It's a little bit early, but maybe we can start. Uh, thank you for coming today. My name is Edward Schaefer, and I teach here at Otsunomizu University. This presentation is just going to be a very short demonstration of a typical English lesson here at the university. So at Ochenomese Ocean University, we divide English lessons into various types. For example, there are English courses for English majors and non-English majors. Also, English classes are divided according to skills. There are four skills in a foreign language, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. And a typical class might be a combination of some skills. For example, a reading and writing class, or a speaking and listening class. Today, we're going to have a short demonstration of a listening class in which we watch a news story and try to understand the news story. Um, before we start, let me talk about listening a little bit. So there are different types of listening. For example, there's something called extensive listening and intensive listening. Extensive listening means you listen for the main point. What is the main idea? What is the main point? That's called extensive listening. Intensive listening means you listen for details. Maybe there are some numbers that you have to catch. Maybe somebody said something about something. What did they say exactly? So listening for details is called intensive listening. And listening for the main point is extensive listening. Also, uh, when we do a listening lesson, we divide it into three parts, basically. First, there's pre-listening. Before you listen, you introduce the topic. What is the topic? maybe a short discussion about the topic. Then after pre-listening, there's listening. You just listen. Maybe answer some questions, fill in the blanks. Then after listening, there's post-listening. You do something after listening. Maybe have a discussion. So pre-listening, listening, or while listening, and post-listening. Those are the three parts of a typical listening lesson. Okay, let's talk about today's listening. It's going to be a new story. And uh, pre-listening, there will usually be a discussion. But today, um, I'll just tell you about the new story. Okay, it's about a topic that is maybe familiar to you. And that is university entrance examinations. So in Japan, if you want to enter university, you take the center test, center shiten. And also entrance examinations from Ochidai or other individual universities. In the United States, in America, where I come from, the entrance examination is different. Does anybody know what we call the university entrance examination in America? Does anybody know? Okay, it's called the SAT. SAT means Scholastic Aptitude Test. So if you want to go to university in America, students take the SAT, high school students. And that's what this new story is about. It's uh, something related to the SAT. Now, first, um, we'll do the listening. And I want to do extensive listening. So I'm going to ask for a little bit of participation from you. Because in an English class, 
It's not just the teacher talking, it's the class talking and participating. So I want to ask you for just a little bit of participation. Parents don't have to participate. Okay, only students. So what I want to ask you to do is to listen for the main idea of the new story. What is the main idea? Right now, you don't have to understand the details, just the main point, the main idea. And after we listen um, two times, I'll play it two times, um, I would like you to turn to the person next to you, or behind you, or in front of you, and tell each other the main idea. And you can do that in Japanese or English. If it's a real class, of course I would ask you to speak English. But today is just a demonstration, so you can speak Japanese. But, or English, if you would like. But try to catch the main idea. So here is the news story. students to um, tell us the answer. And maybe everybody has the same idea. Maybe different people have different ideas. But what I would be looking for is something like this. The story is about how students prepare for the SAT. And they pay a lot of money for coaching. And coaching for the... Now for intensive listening, I might ask you a question like this. Um, okay, how much do some students in New York pay for SAT coaching? Or how many points do students gain by coaching? Could you catch the answers for that? 25, son. Okay, so some students spend $25,000 to coach for the SAT. And according to studies, how many points do they gain? Oh, oh, okay. Um, the people who do the coaching claim that their students gain 100 points or 140 points. But some studies that criticize coaching say they only gain 20 points, which isn't much. So there's a disagreement. Um, and uh, how many points are there in total on the test? Well, 1,600, 1,600. So 20 points isn't much. 100 points would be good. And then another question I might ask you is, um, how do the man and the woman disagree? You saw a woman talking and a man talking. What is their disagreement? And the answer would be, well, the man thinks that coaching is helpful, and the woman thinks that coaching is not helpful. So questions like that are examples of intensive listening. Um, you also notice that sometimes there are English captions, so you can read the captions or the subtitles as you listen. As you listen. And the reading helps to reinforce the listening and the listening helps to reinforce the reading. So all of those things are part of the typical listening lesson. Okay, so that's just a demonstration of what a listening lesson might be like. We have a few minutes left, so if anybody would like to ask some questions, I would be happy to answer any questions. So are there any questions? It's too hot for questions. Uh, okay, then uh, you can take a short break. Please remain here, and uh, the next part of the open campus will be will begin uh, shortly. Uh, this demonstration is over, so thank you very much. <laughs>